Hello students, welcome back to India for IS. This is Manjanath Mudo. In this video, we are going to discuss an incredible topic that is Cascavy gene therapy. This is a revolutionary gene therapy for two life-altering genetic disorders. One is sickle cell disease, another one is thalassemia. Before we delve into the Cascavy therapy, let's understand what is sickle cell disease and thalassemia disorder. Sickle cell is a genetic disorder in which the red blood cells assume the crescent shape. Red blood cell assume crescent shape. Usually red blood cells are disc shaped. In case of sickle cell disease, they assume crescent shape. And these sickle cells cannot move around easily in the vessels. So this results in the blocked blood flow. So this causes severe pain, life-threatening infection, anemia and stroke in the patient. So in India every year 30,000 to 40,000 children born with this disorder. In a normal healthy patient, red blood cells are Disshaped. So RBCs are disshaped as we can see from the following image. So in case of a person with sickle cell disorder, the red blood cells assume Christian shape as we can see here. So the red blood cells assume Christian shape. So because of this, they cause obstruction in the flow of blood in the vessels. Then coming to the symptoms of sickle cell disease, the following symptoms we can see in the patient of sickle cell disease like fatigue and decreased hemoglobin, bacterial infections, leg ulcers, thrombosis in the spleen and liver, swelling and inflation of the fingers, toes and the arthritis, pulmonary and heart diseases, bouts of pain, eye damage. So these are the few of the symptoms that we can observe in the sickle cell anemia. Moving on to the thalassemia disorder. It is an inherited blood disorder results from insufficient in production of protein hemoglobin. So it is passed from parents to children through genetic transmission. So it is also one of the genetic disorder. So this condition leads to the low hemoglobin levels in the patient. So it gives several symptoms such as fatigue, nausea, shortness of breath, irregular heart beats. In the following figure, we can see the shape of red blood cells in normal healthy person and a person with thalassemia. So in the person with thalassemia, the red blood cells are malformed. The ongoing Treatment for thalassemia is lifelong blood transfusions to manage the deficiency of protein hemoglobin. However, this contributes to the excess accumulation of iron in the body. To overcome this condition, chelation is done, which is removal of excess iron from the body. India holds the highest number of children with thalassemia around 1 to 1.5 lakh. Now let us move to the main topic that is Cascavy gene therapy. This gene therapy treats the sickle cell disease in adults and children aged 12 and older. So it is a one-time intravenous fusion. Cascavy is the first FDA approved therapy developed with CRISP or SAS9 technology. So it treats sickle cell disease with a recurrent vaso-occlusive crisis. Vaso-occlusive crisis means the sickle shaped red blood cells block the blood flow in the vessels. So this condition leads to the deprivation of oxygen to the tissues. Moving on to the working mechanism of Cascavy therapy. 
So as we know that the errors in the hemoglobin gene causes both sickle cell disease and thalassemia. So in cascade therapy, what they do? They will take the patient's own blood stem cells and edit them using CRISP or SAS9 technology in the lab. The therapy targets the gene called BCL11A which is crucial in transitioning from fetal to adult hemoglobin. This is crucial for transitioning from fetal to adult hemoglobin. By stimulating the production of fetal hemoglobin, by stimulating the production of fetal hemoglobin, the Casgevy therapy mitigates the symptoms associated with both sickle cell disease and thalassemia. The following figure summarizes the Casgevy gene therapy which we have discussed so far. Coming to the challenges associated with this therapy, so the cost of treatment may be as high as 2 million per patient, dollar 2 million per patient. This makes the treatment unaffordable to the poor people. Absence of local manufacturing facilities makes the harvested blood stem cells to transported to the foreign countries where the editing of stem cells happens. Editing of stem cells happens. So this is all about cash giving therapy. So here we have one Lynn's uh, practice question based on the topic that we have discussed. So go through the question and options. Comment your answer in the comment box. Thank you for joining this session. See you in the next video.